Hello, everyone. Well, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Dreaming with Drifters. Mm -hmm. It's been a heck of a day today, but it has been positive. It has. I'm happy to say my queen no longer has to wear her glasses 24-7. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? We went to the eye doctor today, yep. and I got new eye contacts and new prescription for glasses. So I'm excited. Mm. Those of you who wear glasses all the time and you have the feeling of like taking them off, it's like a whole new world, you know, Right. after wearing them for so long. I'm excited. That's exciting. <laughs> almost like a, a, almost like another woman. <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> oh man. So what, uh, have you decided what kind of glasses you're going to go back with? Not sure. I do know that the ones I'm going to get is by... Let me get it right. Pair eyewear. Pair eyewear? Yeah, and their frames ha are like magnetic, so you can buy. Oh, different like skins for the skins, glasses. And, yeah, to like magnetic put on, clips. And you can interchange them. Mm -hmm. And they also come with like shades, and you can turn them into sunglasses and right. things like that. So I thought that would be cool. True that. And that's up the glasses if I have to wear them. I like that. <laughs> that's cool. It was actually a pretty, pretty quick and painless procedure. We were in and out probably in uh, less than an hour, right? Yeah. It was a great, a good uh, experience. Yeah. yeah. We did eventually, uh, oh, we do have to cancel the one appointment. We did make an appointment for uh, for Danville, which it would be a little bit closer. Not too much, but a little bit closer. We did end up going to Paris. Yeah. At the, I think it was like the Arkansas Family Vision something or yeah. so something like that. Um, but uh, everywhere, we called a couple of different places up in Russellville also, and everywhere was booked until like the end of April or until like mid-April or something like that. Yeah. Paris got us in the next day. They were like, we can have you in tomorrow. Yep. And they were <laughs> ready for us went right when we got there. Yep. Yeah. It, it was, was nice. It was good. Overall, good experience. Yeah. yeah. But we have some news. I wanted to let you know. Yesterday, we had a visitor. Somebody came to the mountain for the very first time, and it's been a long time coming. Mr. John, the well guy. Yay! Yeah, we're so <laughs> exciting. We now know where it's going to be. Yep. At. We know the location of the well, but we're going to first find out what you guys might know about it. But first, let me show you this. Remember that? I know you do, because we're still using it. As you can see, we still got the water pump on. I actually just opened it up and dropped it in. We're about to hook the hose up and pump some more water to the camper. But that's not going to have to happen too much longer. I am so excited. Let's, um, let's go ahead and show you awesome dreamers what location the well is going to be in. Hey. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. It's warming up. It did start off very cold. It was about 31 degrees this morning. The kids and I were super cold on the way to the bus stop this morning. <laughs> I hear it's supposed to warm up a little bit, though. Yeah, it is supposed to warm up. Uh, it's already, I would say, probably 60 degrees or maybe mid-50s. But a bright and sunny and blue sky. The road is still holding up nicely. You can see um, some of the some of the logs have broken in half where we've been driving over. You can see where we've been driving and it's been packing it down. And believe it or not, it is really hard to pull that up. I've already tried to pull it up. It's not coming up. We're just going to... I'm probably going to get the chainsaw and try to cut it down on both ends. Eventually, we will be using a chainsaw saw of some kind to cut all the ends of that right there. But the road has been hanging out. It's been working out great. Oh, Lissa. Uh, I did tell Mr. John, the road guy, that we will be getting one more load of rock in before he comes because he told me that he was worried about his truck crossing and i told him his truck would cross but we got one more load of rock coming okay so i'm gonna give you guys a hint 
as to where the well is going to be. He's going to give us a hint out of the sun. Out of the sun? Oh, I was blinding you. <laughs> Fresh contacts. The hint? The hint? Huh? Uh, where is it at? That wasn't much of a hint. Well, I was going to walk over here. And I was going to, well, I'm going to stand right here and say, I can see where the well is going to be placed from right here in this shot. Is it over here? This would be a in a pretty ideal place, to be honest with you. This would have been an ideal area. But it's not. It's not, my queen. What about over here? Look how wet this is. Still from the rain. Still super wet. This area right here is actually going to be our carport area. We're going to have a, a, a lean-to type deal come down uh, about the size of, what is it going to be, two, uh, like a two-car garage deal right here, my queen? Two-car uh, two garage deal right here, and then this will be our rainwater catchment area. And just so happens, yeah, where, our, yeah, where we're going to park the cars. So happens, look how much water is still here. Man, this is some really low areas. Watch this. Ankle deep. Ankle deep. Um, somewhere right behind here would have been a good area. Hey, Halo. Hi, Halo Balo. But... If anybody guessed over here, somewhere in this area, listen, don't move from that spot. That's a beautiful view. Mountains look good, too. Such a charmer. No. Oh. Well, talker. <laughs> Lissa, you are going to be standing inside the well house or exactly where he's digging. Wow. He told me that... uh, I it, that Yeah, you just knew it was somewhere out here, huh? <laughs> yep, that's why I told you not to move. That is exactly where he where he said he's going to dig, somewhere in this area. He told me, and I remember because we were standing right here by, uh, by this little stump and these little umbrellas. I have no idea what these are called. I should use the Google Lens and... And look it up. Or maybe one of you awesome subscribers and viewers out there could tell me what are these plants called. Because they only grow in little clusters like this. Anyway, squirrel. Um, he told me that there was a vein right there where you're standing. Right there. And it actually goes all the way up under where we're going to be building. Mm. He said there's a vein that runs through here. And it runs directly under the house. And it goes to right here. He said, and then when it gets to where you are, it, it goes into two different areas. It goes off that way towards the mountain. And it also goes off out that way towards the generator area. Huh. Um, it was so cool. It was so cool to see him use the dousing rod, you know. Because mm -hmm. he was holding them out here. And then, like, he would walk over to the area and he was showing me, you know. And, like, they would... Phew, yeah. Immediately, you know what I'm saying? Awesome. When he was witching the waters and stuff like that. Those it things was, are cool. It was amazing. Yeah, those things are pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They also, uh, I heard you can also use uh, those dousing rods in the paranormal uh, adventures. You can. Hey. You can. <laughs> but I wanted to share with each and every one of you because you guys are the most loyal subscribers. We do appreciate it so much. Uh, DD5 does not know this yet. We haven't put anything out. You always get the first sneak peeks. Dr uh, Dreaming with Drifters, we appreciate you uh, subscribing and watching this channel because this is our day-to-day -day life channel, and it's uh, we know that you guys want to just be with us and experience our life with us and and, and enjoy company together. Whereas some people on Dreaming with Drift or on some people on DD5 
Drifting Dreamers 5, they only want to see building or they only want to see something or an edited video or something like that. So yeah. we, we appreciate you guys. We, we appreciate and love you guys. Mm -hmm. Yep, but uh, let me spin you around and show you again. Right there. Lissa is pretty much right there where they're going to be digging. So we have, I have, we decided we're going to make a little pump house. We're, you know, we're going to make it pretty. Yep. And uh, it's going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, because to, to be honest, it's good news and bad news. It's great news because look how close it is to where we're going to be building. You know, right. we're, if we're standing in the pump house, the house is right here. You know, mm -hmm. our bathroom is going to be right there and then it'll be a straight shot over. You know, it won't be that big of a deal. Okay. However, what's the bad news? Bad news is that it's kind of right here in the view. Man. You know, but that's okay. We'll, we'll make it pretty. Yep. It doesn't have to be like this huge building, you know. Yep. Here, stand right there and I'm going to back up. And I'm going to bring you dreamers on back down here. And I would assume that somewhere right here is going to either be our bedroom view or the bathroom view. Because Lissa wants a huge window in the bathroom so she can overlook the mountain. Um, but to have the pump house right there. Especially with all that stuff being cleared down for the view. It's going to be up to us to make it something beautiful and a work of art so that it won't be an eyesore. Because who wants to look at an ugly eyesore while viewing that beautiful mountain, right? That's right. Going to add some flowers around it and, you know, maybe a crystal or two. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of ideas. We'll make it work. Also, eventually, right in front of us that way, we're clearing that out some, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's going to be where the garden area is going to be. So, I mean, it's not that far either. Yeah. You know? To be able to reach the garden area. Right. Plus the other creek over there. Right. Uh, there, is, the, there is a smaller creek. The creek that runs behind our house is over there. Right. And I'm also going to do rain catchment over there somehow. So Yeah. Speaking of uh, flowers, I think you got a little something something for the, uh, our dreamers here today, huh? I do. Because of the computer problems we've been having, it's also put me behind in other videos like Lissa's Crafting Meditation. And... Uh, I did do like this big, it wasn't a big Easter thing, but it, a little Easter wreath and a little Easter vase. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get that out to you guys by April or by Easter. I mean, uh, so I wanted to give you guys something. <laughs> okay. You know. So I'm going to put you on a pause and we will bring you right back. Like magic. We're here and now we're here. Yay. It's mad. <laughs> so what do you got for us right here, my queen? Okay, first, after the rain, mud got splattered all over the crystal. So I'm going to take a picture and go over to the creek, and I'm going to get some water, and we're just going to rinse it off first. Nice. Okay, so we got our water and the pitcher. Got some water. We're just going to kind of rinse it off, guys, just a little bit. Kind of dirty. Oh, that looks better already. Eventually, uh, get some more. Yeah, get some more over there. Maybe find some bigger rocks to set it on and get it up higher off the ground. Maybe. But for right now, we're just gonna rinse it off. Yeah, even putting uh, some rock around the tree, some like some three-quarter inch clean, or just any other kind of rock around the tree will keep it from having so much mud splash up on it. That looks better already, my queen. Much better. All right. So now that the crystal's all cleaned up, what else you got for us? We're going to go to the back of the truck. I have a pot and some plants. Oh.
You gotta jiggle it a little bit. <laughs> I guess I could have grabbed that for you, huh? I asked you to actually pick up this. I did pick it up. It oh, fell back down. The four flowers fell over. No, not the flowers. There's just some pretty flowers. Mm, I like that purple one right there, too. Look at that. Okay. It's a good table. Yeah. <laughs> the bet the the tailgate of the truck is good for lots of things. Isn't this a pretty flower? That's you know that's what I was just showing them. Look at the back of it too. That's so cool, right? Yeah. What is this called? Let's see. Mm. It's called a Colombian. A column. A columbine. Columbine. A columbine. Hmm. I thought it was pretty. Camera's auto focusing. There we go. That's really pretty. So, what are you going to be putting in? Ooh, good catch. What are you going to be putting in that flower pot there? All the flowers you see here. No, I meant, oh, like the miracle Grow. Oh, yeah. The potting mix. Using miracle Grow potting mix. Walmart had a sale. I think it was like $7 a bag or something like that. So we went ahead and got it. Got a couple of bags. It's dirty. But here's the pot. We're going to put some soil in, of course. faster if I just took the whole bag but do you want me to dump it in for you no because I don't want it all over the place I'm not gonna spill it <laughs> why do you think I would spill it uh, because just because you think you won't do it doesn't mean it won't happen mm. what's Jacob say all the time it was an accident, an accident. <laughs> Almost to the top, guys. Almost to the top. Lissa, mm -hmm. look at me. Stop. Don't dump that. Oh, Sorry. get another one. <laughs> You're so beautiful. He's a smooth talker, guys. Are you going to fill this up? Pretty much. I knew I could have dumped it in and not spilled none. Look at that. You spilled some. But that's not the whole bag. Oh, come on. What do you think I'm going to slip, trip, bust my lip, drop the potting soil bag everywhere? Knowing you, maybe. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, dragonfly. I don't know if y'all can see him. No. Got a dragonfly buzzing around. <laughs> Alright. You get kind of a hole now to put one of the flowers in. I'm going to start with this baby. Deeper. Deeper. There you go. I'm excited to find out where you're going to put this flower pot. Has anybody guessed yet? Mm, I'm not sure. Mm. What, what about you dreamers? Where do you dreamers think that Lissa should put the flower pot? Where would be a good spot for it? Or the drifters. You drifters could pick it up too. If you ain't dreaming and you're just drifting, you are allowed to say where. 
Where? These are nice. What are these called? These are called uh, violas. Violas. And I got these from Walmart, guys. I do want to check out some nurseries. That um, I've been looking around. Uncle David said there is a really nice nursery in Fort Smith. Yeah. They got all the what's happenings over there, including like fruit trees and stuff like that. And since we're going to be in Fort Smith on Saturday, because if you didn't know, I am going to be running in a 5K come this Saturday in Fort Smith. Um, it's my first time running in about 15 years, in between 10 and 15 years. I don't really remember exactly, but I'm not going to be doing any training. I'm just going to stretch it on out one good time. Actually, a lot of good times. Uh, I'm going to quit drinking soda as of today until after the race, and we'll see how I do. I think you'll just have fun running again. I do, too. I was going to put all of them in there, but it looks a little crowded. Don't disrespect the flowers. Well, I also want to put something else in this. Oh. So we want to leave just some room, you know? Well, you could always just dig a hole and put those in, or do we have another flower pot? Mm. We have other flower pots, but they have other things. Uh, true. Going in them. somewhere else then I might be able to get one more of these little guys in there Good. All right, let's take the pot over here to the crystal. Ooh, okay. Can I send you on a hunt to find a bigger flat rock just to set this on? Do you think you can find one along the driveway right here? I think I got just a stain for you. I'll be right back. Pulse for station identification. Actually, in instead of pausing, I'm just going to take you guys with me. Take you all with me. I know just the thing. And it's right over here. Atlas's favorite spot. Step over this. This is going to be a really nice corner post or something one day. That's a really nice cedar. See that rock right there? That big flat one? Absolutely perfect. I actually use the that for to hold the tripod before i bought this new one this rock is going to be absolutely perfect for what she wants mm. and beautiful creek is running nicely matter of fact you know I got, you know I got them boots on. Let's go through the creek. Oh, 
Duck. Almost. I think I got just the perfect rock for you. Oh, perfect. Uh huh. Perfect. Maybe this will help. If you put that little, if you put that little bitty square one you got, and and lift up, nope. If you lift up on the whole big rock, you know, put that right in the center, baby. Yep. There we go. Much better. I'm also gonna take this little rock. I'm gonna set it down, kind of in front. Right there. And then I'm going to set a little fairy house in the middle. Of course, we have to have our little fairy, you know. We might move her. Hmm. Okay. Got some quartz. Some quartz in there. I also have a couple of amethysts. We're just gonna Oh, that's a great idea, baby. Oh, let me adjust the camera a little bit. I did have this little guy, but I don't think I have room in there for him. No, I don't think so either, but let me show you what Lissa has right here. That is so nice. The amethyst is really a nice touch. Let's go ahead and kind of water it a little bit. Let's have some water. Autofocus. And adjust camera. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Let's check it out now that you're all finished, all watered up. That's really nice, baby. She looks happy. Eventually, you know, over some time, I'll start adding some more plants and things around this tree and cleaning it up a little bit. Yeah. And I have not forgotten about the arrow, guys. I promise. I will paint it. I will. It is a great idea, and I promise I will do it. I don't... I'm not giving you a time, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, why is your drifter lane sign crooked? Because I like it that way. <laughs> Because that's kind of how our life is, you know? We kind of just go with the wind and we're always a little crooked anyway. So, <laughs> you know, I just like it, guys, that way. It's off just a little bit, just like us. Just, yep, just a little. And I love the twinkly lights idea, you know, to add around the crystals and stuff. So we'll be adding that eventually, too. This is just a little something, guys. I think you did a marvelous job. Thanks. It looks pretty, I think. Well, that's our Wednesday morning for you. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and uh, we spent most of the morning up in Paris, like I said, for Alyssa's eye exam. 
So we'll be able to see more of Alyssa's beautiful face and less glasses, unless she wants to wear her glasses. Um, and now that we're back, it's lunchtime, we're going to go ahead and get a little something, something, snack, snack in our gut, gut. And uh, I'm going to get out there and get back to cracking at the dog area. Liz is going to go inside and start editing another video for you guys since Uncle David has let us use his loaner computer. Um, I do want to say once again that Dell has still not uh, got back with us about the motherboard replacement yet. I will be calling and sending another email in to customer service today. So for any of our sponsors out there watching right now, that's why. That's why. <laughs> But we love you guys. Thanks for hanging out with us on a Wednesday. Don't forget, tonight is what some people like to call Framley Night on the lives. Uh, I, I think it starts off uh, with Mama V at Possum Run Homestead at 5 p.m., followed up by our friends Mike, Sid, and Frankie over at 3 Mississippi at 6 p.m. At 7 p.m., we have our wonderful, wonderful friends, uh, Gary and Melanie with Simple Life Reclaimed. Mm -hmm. And then... After them, I'm not 100% sure. But it's a full night, guys. For those three hours, you don't forget to catch Mama V over at Possum Run Homestead, Mike, Sid, and Frankie with Three Mississippi, and SLR, Simple Life Reclaimed, Melanie and Gary. Man. I'm going to be making pepper marine lasagna. Ooh, man. That, now, we that's a surprise. That. <laughs> I like that. Lissa makes a bomb pepperoni lasagna. Okay. I might just try to get her to film it. Maybe. 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 <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Keep on dreaming. Keep on drifting. Tell you what, you just keep on doing what makes you happy. Because exactly. I'm happy knowing that you're happy. And we love you so much because you're happy knowing that we're happy. <laughs> love you guys. Love y'all. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.